Do you know what carburetor your tractor has on it? It might not be as simple as just knowing that you have a Farmall H tractor, so therefore you need a carburetor repair kit for a Farmall H. Over the years, someone could have replaced the carburetor on your tractor uh, if the original carburetor was bad and they had another one laying around in the shop so they put it on. Or there's some models of tractors that would have originally come from the factory with two different carburetor options. Those would both be scenarios that would mean that you need to know specifically what carburetor is on your tractor. So you need to identify it on either a tag or some letters that are stamped into the throttle body. So when you're cleaning your carburetor to determine what the numbers are, don't use any type of rough abrasive. Don't use like a steel wire brush that when you brush on the tag, it's going to wear off the numbers. I like to use a brass brush because that's a little bit softer and it's not gonna take those numbers for the identification off the carburetor. Sandpaper might be a little bit too rough as well. Maybe you could use some carburetor cleaner, it would be some liquid that you could put on there and a rag that could also help you wipe that off. Just be careful so you don't wipe those numbers and then you can't identify what carburetor you have. In front of me to start with, I have some international harvester carburetors or carburetors that you would find on an IH tractor in front of me. So let's start down here on this end. I have a Farmall Cub carburetor. Now on a Cub, the numbers for the identification are right up here. You can see that circled in yellow. They're very, very difficult to read. So when you order parts for a Cub, it's just important to know if the IH that's on the bowl is raised or not. This carburetor, the IH logo is raised, so that would help you know exactly what carb kit you would need to order to uh, rebuild your carburetor. Next to it, I have a Carter carburetor. This is one that you would find on like a Super A, Farmall, or the like, similar styles of that. You can see a brass tag down here in the corner. That's where you would identify that. Also, uh, it's important to know, like notice on my carburetor, it has an aluminum body with a cast top. There can be differences there because the gasket is different on these carburetor, these Carter carburetors. And also the needle has different threads. So it's really important on this one to get the right kit. Next is this carburetor. This would be off like a F12 Farmall. You can see that there is a small brass tag up here. I'll show it to you here. There's where that brass tag is that has the number on it. So you need to find that and read it to know uh, the model of your carburetor. Next, I have an F20 carburetor. You can see there's a small tag on this one too. If I turn it this way, I hope you can see it there. Silver, and that's where you'll find the identification on an F20 carburetor. This one came off of a Farmall H. Again, this has a small tag. Nope, it doesn't have a small tag. You can see it's cast right in here on the lid of the carburetor. That's the number for this carburetor. Next, I have one that would come off of like a M or a Super M or a Super H is this style of carb carburetor. Again, this has a brass tag up here. Right there, you can see that. Lastly, uh, like this carburetor is also same style as what would be on like a 300, a 400, 350, 450. And then this bigger style is what you'd find on like a 560 or a 460 or anything like that. Again, we have a brass tag right up there. You can see that. And lastly, I want to show you this British Zenith carburetor. Uh, you can see the identifier right here is just a VN. Uh, this would be on like a B414 or a model similar to that. Any of those British style tractors would have a carburetor like this, and that's where the identification is. John Deere carburetors can be very difficult to identify. For example, this carburetor, which says DLTX, that's not the only identifying number that you need. You also need to know what this number is that's stamped into the, um, stamped right into the throttle body there. So let's spray it there, and you can see that it says 53. It's very, very important that you know what exactly that number is. From the outside, these carburetors look so identical, but you have to know that number in order to get the right parts. There's a lot of different numbers, and just DLTX won't cut it. As you can see, this carburetor over here also says DLTX, but then it says 81. This is what would be like on a John Deere 60. A lot of the two cylinders have a carburetor that's similar in style to this. And again, you have to know that specific number in order to get the right parts. 
Now on a Ford carburetor, uh, there might be a Marvel Shoveler like this one. This would be off a 8N, 9N, or 2N tractor. You'll see the brass tag here. It's a TSX and then some numbers. You'll need that specifically when you order parts. Or you might have a Marvel Shoveler carburetor on like, like a Jubilee 600 or 800 that would either have the tag there, like the 8N, or the tag might be up here, like this one. Again, it will start out TSX and then some numbers after that. So find out where your brass tag is on a Marvel Shoveler and then you'll need to read that number. Now you may have an aftermarket carburetor like this Zenith on your Jubilee. Uh, this is where the tag is. You'll need to read those numbers so that you know exactly what model your carburetor is if you want to rebuild your Zenith carburetor. Lastly, over here, I have a Holley carburetor. This would be off of a Ford 4000 style tractor. This one starts out D6NN and then the numbers follow there. Find these identifying tags, and then you'll be able to order the correct parts for your carburetor. Now I have some um, Massey Harris, Massey Ferguson, and Minneapolis Moline carburetors in front of me. So I'm going to roll through them, starting on this side. Uh, this is a carburetor that's off of a Massey Harris Pony. You can see the tag that's right here underneath this screw. There it says Marvel Shoveler TSV. 54U, that's exactly what you need to know on that carburetor, so look for that tag. Next, this carburetor is off of a Minneapolis Moline R, but you'd also find it on uh, some models of Massey Harris tractors as well, same style carburetor. Again, there's a brass tag right there that you need to know. This one just says TRX-12. Notice that there's a B2 cast in here. That's not important when you're identifying what carburetor it is. The essential number is this TRX number right there on the brass tag. Now I have a Carter carburetor here. This one's all aluminum and I'm going to flip it over so you can see this tag that's right here. That's a number that you need to know. Uh, there may be some other numbers on the carburetor. Sometimes in the casting like underneath here it says Carter, UT and then some numbers. That's not the number that you need to know. You got to find this brass tag so that you can identify exactly what carburetor it is. Lastly, this carburetor is off a of Massey Ferguson 1100 style tractor. You can see up here there's a tag. Also, sometimes it would have been stamped into the carburetor. Up here where uh, the upper throttle body of the carburetor is, there may be a stamp number or a tag on this carburetor. It's not this number right here. That's not the number you need to pay attention to. So look for that tag and then you'll have the right carburetor number. On an Alice Chalmers tractor, you might see a um, carburetor like this one. This one's off a of WD-45. There's a brass tag right here that would give the exact model. This is a Marvel Shoveler carburetor. It starts out TSX and then it will say 464 for this specific model. So look for that identifying tag. Here's another Marvel carburetor. This one's off of Alice Chalmers G. Again, there's a brass tag right here. Look for that. Again, this one starts out TSX and then it says 1-3, so you'll need to know that specific model. Here's a Zenith that would have been on like an Alice Chalmers C or CA style tractor. Uh, again, we're going to look for a brass tag. You can see the round one right up there. 10699 on this one. That's a Zenith carburetor. And lastly, here's an aftermarket replacement type carburetor. Again, another Zenith. And you'll see right up here on the top, there's itty bitty numbers. Those are the identifying numbers for this carburetor. In front of me, I have a bunch of uh, Zenith type carburetors. So let's start with this typical Zenith carburetor. You'll see that there's a brass tag right up here on the top. You'll need that for identification purposes. Next, I have another Zenith Bendix carburetor. Again, uh, typical style with the brass round tag on top with a number on it there. This next carburetor is off of like a Case SC style tractor. Again, there's a small uh, brass or aluminum tag up there on top. Now I have a Tillotson carburetor. You can see this one's off of an Avery tractor and it says model YC2B, I think is what that says. But you'll need to find that uh, identifying tag right there on the body of the carburetor. Lastly, I have a Zenith down here. You can see this came off of like an Oliver 70, but a Case DC is also a very similar style. There's a number right on there on top. Find these tags and then you'll be able to easily identify what carburetor you have.